Hi guys, it's Legionero back with week five of my weekly sewing recap. This week I sewed mostly handbags. I only got a chance to photograph the second version of Simplicity 8656 that I made. This time I made the skirt in a red ponte knit, but I actually made it during the step-by-step -step tutorial that I filmed for the channel. If you haven't seen that tutorial, I'll link it below. But the first version I did in blue and this version I did in red so I finally got a chance to photograph it this week. And I paired it with a t-shirt from Walmart. I found this really pretty t-shirt um, and it had the red color in it that matched the skirt. So I decided to go ahead and pair the skirt with the t-shirt. And the t-shirt was only $6. So let me show you a picture. I didn't get to so many clothes this week. I did have some cut out and prepped, but I didn't really get a chance to get around to sewing them because I'm working on a new prototype bag for a class that I'm working on. I was able to sew some bags for my website and, and some tassels, so let me show you those. So the first thing that I made is another version of my Andrea clutch. This is the clutch that has the zipper pocket on the front and has a top zipper and it has a slip pocket on the inside of it. This is a free pattern that's available on my website and there's also a step-by-step -step tutorial here on the channel. I'll link that in the description box below. But I was able to make this and I'm going to post it on my website and it's made from a black and white zebra felt fabric. And I actually got this fabric from Hancock before they closed and I've made a few things with it here and there um, but I've been saving it for a special occasion um, not sure what that other special occasion was gonna be but I thought it would be perfect with this um, Angie clutch and I wanted to do a pop of color so I did a red zipper here on the front and I also did a red lining All right so if you haven't got a chance to um, pick up this free pattern, definitely go to my website and download the free pattern and watch the step-by-step -step tutorial here on the channel. I'll link the information below. The next thing that I made is this clutch bag and I'll pop the name of the pattern designer so you can see it. Um, this is a free pattern. Um, this pattern has been out for a while and I actually downloaded it about a year ago but I'm just now getting a chance to um, get around to it and make it. Um, I was attracted to this pattern be because of the front here. You can um, wear it if you don't have a wristlet or it's not a crossbody bag, which you can make it as both. You can add a wristlet on the side or you can add um, tabs for a strap. But I was attracted to the bag originally because you could hold it like this. And I know it looks funny with my arm like this, but... <laughs> um, you can actually hold it like this and carry it like this and I really really like that. I have been seeing it a lot on Pinterest, a lot of purses like that and actually one of my friends asked me like, hey do you do those clutches where you can stick your hand through it or, and I, I remembered that I had this pattern so I made um, this and I used the same black and white zebra felt and it has a magnetic snap closure and you can see the inside. I also made it out of a pink and black <laughs> zebra. Um, got this from Hancock as well before they closed. Got an amazing deal. I think the fabric was like $2 a yard. Anyway, um, I used a black and white hounds too. And this is one of the um, fat quarters from Walmart um, that I just grabbed. and use that for the front. I love hounds too. Um, oh, the outside is a faux leather gator fabric that I got from fabric.com. Right. And last but not least, you know, I always have to do something in cork. <laughs> so I use this natural cork that I got from sosweetness.com. And on this outside, this um, matte fabric, I think I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, but I'll link all the information for all the fabrics and everything and this pattern below. This is a great free pattern. It's easy to sew. I didn't have any issues sewing it up. All right. 
these are available on my website um, and again you'll find the link to my website below I also made some tassels um, this is a free pattern from so sweetness Sarah Lawson um, she did a YouTube tutorial on how to make this cork tassel and you can download the pattern from her site um, it's really neat um, it has like a point here on the end it's really cute um, and I did one in with gold hardware and I did one with silver hardware I'm partial to silver but I know gold goes better with certain things but I made them both um, one out of silver and one out of gold really really easy tassel to put together and I used two rivets to hold it in place and this was uh, really fun for me because it was my first time using my rivet press that I got from Gold Star Tools. I got the um, rivet and grommet press in pink and it was my first time using it so I found that to be very neat. So if you're into making tassels this is a great pattern. It's really easy. No glue. Just hardware. And you don't have to use rivets. You can use Chicago screws. You can use um, I think she used the snap in the video. So it's just up to you. And um, this is a one inch swivel clasp. And last but not least, I wanted to do some modifications to my Tina purse pattern. Um, and that video is here on the channel. Um, that one's not is not a free pattern, but I wanted to kind of modify it a little bit. I'm starting to be more partial to purses with square bottoms, so I added a square bottom to it. It still has the strap, it has the back zipper pocket, and it has a front pocket here, but it has a flap with a snap. So I thought that would be a great addition to add to the pattern. Um, and I was just experimenting. This is a prototype. Um, and it still has the recessed zipper, but I was watching a craftsy class and I learned a different way to do a recessed zipper. So I wanted to try that method. And it actually turned out pretty great. I like it. Um, not real sure if I'm going to replace this pattern sell the modified version of the pattern but I really did think this is a really cute bag um, to make it small and compact and you can also do an adjustable strap with it so I thought it was was very cute let me know what you think um, should I make this a pattern um, I kind of like the Tina Purse pattern um, but I also like this one as well um, and I actually just use that pattern to modify it and make this purse All right so let me know what you think if you made my Angie clutch or my Tina purse pattern um, or this clutch let me know in the comments below and let me know what you think about them and also tag me on social media at Legionnaire B patterns if you made any of my patterns so that's everything I made for this week I'll see you next week for week six